Well, keep moving, please. Everybody is moving. Thank you, officer. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep parroting, officer. Keep moving. Keep, oh, keep saying I'm intelligent. Stop answering it. Just it. Just no. Let keep saying it. Stop moving. Okay, I stop moving for a single second. Don't be ridiculous. Look at these three doing. We keep moving them. I only stop. I'm not. I don't even stop when you're muttering in my ear. She has not stopped moving, officer, and six cameras She's obstructing cameras the highway. She knows she's obstructing no, the she's highway. Not. And if she continues, she will be arrested. She can either stand to the side or she'll be arrested. So keep moving, please. She has six cameras. Keep moving, please. You sound like a bully. I'm just telling her. I'm just telling her. Just keep moving. She knows what she's doing. Keep moving, please. I know you've got the pips on your shoulders. Keep moving, please. You look like you're in charge. I'm afraid. Afraid, she knows what she's doing. Your entry to 100 metres there and the Olympic team has been denied. You're not quick enough, my darling. Keep okay. moving then, please. Maybe next year. Oh. Keep moving. Why are the police pushing me? I don't understand what they're doing. And have you consented to being touched? No, I have Have you consented to being pushed? No. Just wanted to be clear for the record. Stop pushing! 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 We're the police to our own, she's quite fine, thank you. We are looking after Anne, she's quite fine. We're protecting her, all good, Well done, Jamie. We shouldn't have to protect the protector. I'm trying to walk as quickly as I can. I'm beating moving. I haven't stopped. Oh, you're joking. No. You're joking. It's a fart. I'm not making you up. There's a favour. Scrub! Scrub! Stand there against the fence. No! Stop! Let him stand! We're up to the highway. Let's get up. Can you move that away from my face? Can you move that away from my face? I'm not in your face. I am not anywhere near your face. So they're making the law officer go along as well? Absolutely. That's quite a fancy little thing, that though. How was it held on? Velcro? No. How was it? Screwed on. Is it? And your phone? No, it's not a phone. It's a camera. A little bit faster. High definition camera. I thought it was your phone. What's the GCT? What's the uh, battle flight? Uh, um, about 90 minutes. Where, where, where's he gone? He's up the front there. Oh, he's, he's, he's gone up. He's gone up. 90 minutes. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. 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 80. How long does it take to charge? About 30 minutes. Yeah. Enough time for once the trucks are in. Yeah, well, let me show. It's not actually bad. I like that. No, it's great. It's quite exciting, though. And everyone thinks it's a phone. Exactly. Heads. Except at one. Yeah, no. Watch your feet walking back. So, there's quite a lot of them that I don't know where. Yeah. Just, just send them off to Bermuda or somewhere. Let them, let them stay in their rich places and leave us alone. Stop draining Britain dry. I guess. What would you say to I guess? Oh, who are they? Who are you, I guess? Come on, let's see your faces. Let's have names. Then we'll talk to you. I don't know who I guess is. Another rich 
half dozen people ruling the world, controlling the world. No Dan, how did you manage to persuade them to let you back in the line? I don't know. I just yelled with my anger. It was genuine anger. I physically held my footing and kind of pushed them off. Now, I'm not strong enough to push them off if they really intend. But I was so angry. I guess they could... I don't know. I guess they could see. There was too much support for me. Um... I don't understand it, but I... Oh, I did raise my stick, didn't I? Yeah. Oh, did you? Yeah, I raised my isn't, stick isn't and I was, I, was on the brink, I was on the brink of beating them up. <laughs> I was so angry with this nonsense that they're looking after me. Will I just step aside? Yeah, will I just step aside so they can push the younger ones? It's just outrageous. But then when, they, when you got back in the line, they then <laughs> yeah. threatened you with arrest. Yes. Which, of course, fortunately, they didn't carry out. Yes. But it's so... Yeah, they, I'm a nuisance to them, that seems obvious, which I'm pleased about. That's what I'm here for. Um, but they, they just think they can con me into stepping aside or let me be gently... Sort of what they think is gently pushed to the side. It just sets my blood boiling, I'm afraid. I'm the wrong person for that. So I will get to the point where I won't be rational at all. I won't care about the risks. I will just fight for what I want to do. It is outrageous, <laughs> isn't it? It is. And yeah. you're an absolute gem. I mean, you've been a stalwart right from the first day that the trucks arrived here. Yeah, I've been so lucky to find a way of being really, really useful and powerful, living up to my name. <laughs> Indeed. Without... <laughs> Indeed. OK, apparently we're blocking the road. Oh, we're blocking the road. <laughs> <laughs> who for? Who, who wants it's only this the road? Police. It's only, only the police, the police. So yeah. I wouldn't sweat oh, it too much. Oh, no, don't worry about them. <laughs> Well, we've got a couple of hours, I guess, the before the trucks come out. Should we go get a cup yep. of tea? Yeah, good idea. <laughs> You've earned water it. Water pollution is also uh, an issue, and each one of us in this room is 65% water by weight. We all enjoy an exquisite communion, not only with the atmosphere, but with the water cycle as well. We know that there are many documented cases of surface and groundwater contamination with compounds associated with gas extraction, including the carcinogen benzene. But because hydraulic fracturing has been granted the environmental equivalent of diplomatic immunity, enjoying special exemptions from our federal statutes, it's difficult for those of us in the research community to quantify what the public health effects are. We lack knowledge about the behavior of groundwater, and we also lack knowledge about the uh, trade, because of trade secrets, we don't know what chemicals to test for. We do know uh, from a study released earlier this month that drinking water wells near gas extraction sites in Pennsylvania and New York have, on average, 17 times higher methane levels than uh, wells located outside the gas patch. We don't know uh, what the health effects of drinking and inhaling methane are for pregnant women, for children, or, or for anyone, not because we've done the studies and there was no evidence for harm, but because we've never done the studies. We do know that when you chlorinate water that contains carbon-based contaminants, you create disinfection byproducts called trihalomethanes. One example is chloroform. Um, and these, in fact, are carcinogens linked to both bladder and colon cancers. Can methane serve as a raw material for the creation of trihalomethanes? To my knowledge, we in the scientific community don't yet have an answer to that question. Shouldn't we answer it before we proceed with hydrofracking? So I brought with me here a jar of water from my kitchen tap in the village of Trumansburg. And this water comes from a municipal well sunk into a groundwater aquifer near Cayuga Lake. Every day I pour this water into glasses and hand them to my children and they take a drink before they get on the bus. And every day this water becomes their blood plasma. It becomes their tears. It becomes their cerebral spinal fluid that surrounds their brain. And according to the annual drinking water quality report for this water uh, in my village, it contains some trihalomethanes from the chlorination product process, and it also contains nitrates, which are probably a result of all the farming we do um, near uh, the well. Um, and, and their presence in this jar all by itself is not a call for alarm. It's all within the legal limits. 
But it is a sign that our municipal water, as so much water in New York, comes from an unconfined aquifer that's vulnerable to chemical contamination. Already, this water has fertilizer in it. It's, and the, the, it, the presence of this fertilizer shows us that there exist hidden connections between the surface of the earth and the watery vaults of groundwater deep beneath our feet. What would happen to this water if the fields that surround my village, many of which are already leased to the gas industry, become a staging ground for fossil fuel extraction? In Tompkins County, where I live, 40% of all land acreage is leased to the gas drillers. This is not a hydrological experiment I am interested in running. This land, 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 this